Hello everyone. I figured I, I I forgot I should have probably done this while I was at the actual main title. Welcome to Gems of War. This is a This is a free game. I think it's Oh, that's loud. Yeah, that's loud in my ears. Uh oh god. Uh, wasn't that loud. I was exaggerating. But uh I've been playing this a decent amount, if you can't tell. Uh, this is a free game. It's on Xbox One. I'm pretty sure it was a mobile game, so it's you could probably get it on iPhone, Android. Don't quote me on that. I didn't look it up before this. But I've been kind of addicted to this game, and usually when you get, like, free games, I don't really like them because a lot of them are like, oh, you need, you need energy to do this, so... Like, especially games like this, you figure, oh, you need energy to do this, so you can really only do, like, two levels at a time, and then it's like, oh, you're out of energy, why don't you pay 17 million dollars to get more energy so you don't ever run out, and it's like, yeah, no, it's, that's fine, I'm, I'm good. This game, you could do, a, like, it doesn't have anything like that, so you could play this game a lot and never, never have to put a cent into it, it it's not... It is one of those where if you pay money, you obviously can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start getting into the game. Actually, no, I'm gonna wait until I explain it. The, it is one of those you can pay money, you can advance like your progress and stuff, and uh, you know, make it easier if you pay money. But it's one of those. It doesn't feel like you have to. It's one of those you don't feel forced to pay money for it, but, which I, I like, I, I like games where it's like, not in your face, like, here, we have things you can buy, buy all of them, it's like, relax, and then you, it, it like, encourages you to spend like, seven, like, like, two hundred dollars when you could, when it's really like, oh, well, I could buy a game similar to this for like, fifteen bucks, and that's it. Like, oh, nope, $200, spend that. Anyway. So, I'm a decent way in, as you can tell by the fact that I'm level 34. <laughs> I've, I've been addicted to this game uh, for some reason. Uh, what you get, you get these areas, like all of these places. You can see the ones like that. You can unlock and, uh, you know, spend money to unlock those. But the ones that I already have unlocked, you go to... Explore, which you can only do after you do quests. That's basically like a quick play. It just like gives you random enemies that you can fight. Quests, I don't, I already did all the quests here, but they're just, you know, quests. It just, you go through like a storyline kind of thing. Uh, and challenges, which here I did all of them, but you basically just do them, you do them five times to master them and you get money and such from that. Uh, it'd be easier if I just jump into the game. Oh, and then there's Kingdom, which you can level up the Kingdom. You can set it as your home Kingdom if it's not. You can level it up by getting certain troops. Let's jump into the quest. This is the one I've been doing. Uh, I I really don't care about the story. That's that's the one thing. It's like it's one of those. It's like a mobile game story. It's like it exists. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it might be interesting if I try to follow it, but I don't really care enough. Uh, you got difficulty. You can do, like, normal, hard, Warlord 1, 2, 3, or 4, and you can see it raises the monster stats, but gives you more items if you do it. I've been playing on normal because apparently I suck at this, lo this area. Uh, so, yeah, basically, you got the people on the side. On the left side, those are your guys. People on the right side are the enemy guys. Number in the top left of, like, a an, an uh, player, like, portrait thing is how much mana you have, and that will give a special thing. Like, for my character, it's Bloody Axe. It'll just deal 10 damage to the first enemy. Health on the bottom, above that armor. Attack on the left. It, it, it's one of those, it's like... It's easy to get into. At, at first, you're like... You got all these characters and all this stuff, and it's like, what the hell's going on? But it, it gets it gets less confusing as you play. Um, 
If you match four or five, you get an extra turn, which I did that first turn. If you match four or five, you get an extra turn. Match any colored ones, you get mana. So, like, I match these, I'll get an extra turn. Plus, the brown mana, mana will go surge. to the... Mana surge. I don't know what just happened. I was not paying attention there. The brown mana will then go to the first person on that side on in my lineup that uses brown mana. If none of them do, then it just goes to waste. Uh, oh, I can get a five here. Which gives me an extra turn. Also was a critical hit. Killed the enemy over there. Yeah, basically the whole goal is to kill all the enemies. And each one has their own, like, special abilities. Each one... You have, like, status effects, like poison and stuff like that that you can get. Uh, let's attack. And really, if you... Really... If you're good at games like Bejeweled and stuff like that, you're gonna be good at this game. Because I found out, because there's a PvP mode, where you actually... You don't actually face other players, you face a computer-controlled version of their team. Um, and... The... You might have seen it when I started this battle, there's like a ranking for your team, mine's at like 2,000-something. You can take on a higher ranked team, a higher, like, leveled team, and win if you're good at the game. It's it's not one of those where it's like, oh, well, if they have better better monsters, they're absolutely going to win. It's one of those, like, if they have better monsters, but you're still better at puzzle games, or you're still really good at puzzle games, you know, you could probably win. It, it's not a huge... It, it, it's one of those, like, obviously leveling up characters gives you a boost, but it's not enough of a boost where it really affects anything. I'm, like, I'm, I'm so used to playing this game, I keep going through things so fast that, like, there I just used a special ability. I didn't explain it at all, because, like, in my mind, I'm like, oh, I know what this is, just go for it. Um, I could match here, but I do have, you can see, the Bloody Axe, so it'll deal 10 damage to the first enemy. Which it'll attack the armor first, and then the life. If their life's gone, then they're dead. And there's some some attacks and things that can uh, penetrate armor, so it'll just attack their life right away. Also, they attacked this dude, Owlbear, which is amazing. Uh, poison him. Poison troops have a 50% chance to lose one life every turn and can die from it. So yeah, there's like status effects like any RPG, which makes it very interesting. Like I wasn't, ex I wasn't, I wasn't sure what to expect from this. I really just went with this game on a whim. I was like, I got to the point where I'm like, cause I mentioned plenty of times, like, oh, I was really into Stardew and then, like, a few weeks ago, I did a video on uh, Binding of Isaac, because I was super into Binding of Isaac. And I got to the point where it's like I was playing a bunch of games, finished... I finished a game that I was playing. I don't remember which one I finished, but... Uh, oh, th do this. Give all allies four attack. Let's do that. Power up my allies. Don't know why I did that, because pretty much all of them could kill the other enemy in one hit if they do it, but whatever. Don't know why I did that. Um. But yeah, I finished the game and I was kind of like in that mode where, you know, like when you finish a game and you just kind of like, I have plenty of games I could play now, but I don't really feel like playing any of them. Like there's so many games I have that I can play. But I, I was at that point where it's like, I mean, I could play this. I really don't want to. Mana surge. So, uh, I just gave him attack. Oh, nope, he's gonna use a special ability. Idiot. Oh, his special ability exploded that area. But, more skulls appeared, so I'm just gonna kill him. But yeah, it was, so I was like, well, I don't really wanna buy- Like, I looked at all the, like, a bunch of games, and like, there's no, nothing I really wanna buy. What about any of the free games? Because, you know, free games, you know, I don't have to buy any of them. So I can just try them out and play them. Worst comes to worst, one of them sucks and... I mean, nothing... You know, nothing lost. And this one looked interesting. I heard about it before. I'm like, you know what? Let's try it. It's like a puzzle RPG kind of thing. Let's, let's do it. And I've basically been playing this for like the last few days. Pretty much non-stop. 
I mean, I've also been playing uh, Project Cards, which I played this week. I played a little bit of that. I suck at that game. I really suck at that game. Uh, Mana surge. Oh. I, I got a four there. Let's do that. So yeah, there's not really much to explain about this game. Like, of the actual game part. It's really, it's one of those, it's a lot of getting to know what the enemies are going to do. Really building a team that works for you so you know what what powers you can do. There's also traits, I didn't explain that. You can level up your, your monsters to have, or your uh, troops, they're called. Because they're not all monsters, but... Level up your troops to have traits like this one. Allied beasts gain two life, which is the whole reason I have Owlbear, because I needed a beast. Otherwise, nothing would have happened. Oh, and if you couldn't tell, you know, if, if you didn't take notice, the fact that my character is obviously a cat person, because I had to go. I mean, gotta stick with the Khajiits. Even though it's not a Khajiit, I needed to stick with the Khajiits. Um, Alright, so let's finish this level. I probably should have upgraded it from normal. It's just I did one earlier in the same quest line that was just, I just got destroyed. And I was on hard. I wasn't even, like, doing a high-level thing. It was just like, oh, you are got just completely fucked up. Like, good, thanks. But then I'll show some of the other things in this game. Because it's more than just quests. You can do the quests, you can do the challenges. They're good ways to gain the items to upgrade your troops and such. But, and keys to get more troops. That's the only thing that's kind of slow. And I, it's understandably slow. And when I say slow, it's really not that slow, but it's slower than the rest of the game. And that's uh, getting stuff to upgrade troops. Like, sometimes you're going to be waiting a decent amount to be able to upgrade this troop to full because you got to get these things. You got to get souls, they're called, to, uh, oh, let's do that to get an extra turn for no reason other than the fact that if you match four, you get m extra money as well. Uh, I have so many things I could do. Let's power them all up. Give all allies four attack. Uh, let's attack. <laughs> Because I don't want them to use that against me. But e even like powering up your your team, it really isn't. It really doesn't take that long. I mean, there's some points where there's like, like you need certain items to power up your team to get the traits to just level them up. That doesn't take too long because you need to get souls. But then you get like trait stones that you need to give them traits. I, I can't remember. Were they called trait stones or were they called something else? Probably something else because I don't say things. Word. Oh, they killed Owlbear. You fuckers. Um, oh, th that there was there were no moves left, so it just reshuffled. Let's get that extra turn. Oh, I matched skulls, so uh, Khajiit attacked. Oh, there's more skulls down here. Great. D done. That was easy enough. But... Did I turn off music? Or was there never music? I've never really paid attention, because this is one of those games that's like, you know, calming, so I just... I usually play it... No, there's music. Oh, I got a key. Normal keys you get just during normal play. There's also glory that you can you can get glory from mostly PvP. You can get it from other things, but you get it mostly PvP. Gems are... You can get some gems during normal play. Gems are the thing that you can buy. Like, you can buy gems and just go nuts here. Uh, event chests you can unlock. Uh, they have, like, certain events that you can get keys from and unlock them. Or, obviously, you can buy them with uh, gems. There's guild, which I would need to join a guild, which I haven't done. Uh, and VIP chests, which that is like a DLC kind of thing. V well, I guess not technically DLC. VIP chest, you, you see the VIP up above, so you get like... Like, oh, if you get daily gems, you get 25 VIP points and it levels you up. 
yeah. So you you get like level one, you get XP bonus and more gold and more gems from the shop. So it's like if you want to spend money, you can still spend money. And I mean, yeah, they have like the hundred one where it's like, oh, you get fifteen hundred gems, which you're probably gonna burn through quick. Which, I mean, it does kind of suck, but they put it in because they know there's people that are gonna buy that. Uh, but yeah, the VIP. Uh, yeah, you actually have to spend money to get VIP, to get like there's no like oh you can earn gems in game and then use them to get VIP. You actually have to spend money to get VIP points, but I don't really care. I, I'll spend money if I have money at any point, but right now I'm like, I, I, there's no reason for me to spend money on those. I'm completely fine. Rewards is really in here. The only thing that matters because the glory you do earn from like PVP, especially, and I want to save up for one of these chests. Cause then you get a vent key, you get maps, which are used for the treasure maps are used for this, like, treasure hunt game that essentially just gives you more money. I never opened my chest. I got a mad profit. Might you spare a coin, good sir? That was weird, because he was actually next to the next to the screen over there. I'd never had that happen, where it's like, because, see, it's cycling through monsters. That was just random that it happened to do that. So then you got troops. Uh, I have a lot unlocked, and I haven't really done anything with my team in a while, so I probably could make my team better if I switched out some troops, but I'm not going to. And basically each troop, let me find Mad Prophet since I just got one and I already had one. You can go into crafting, you can level them up using souls, which you get from just playing the game. You get those from the story missions, you get those a lot from challenges, you can get them from PvP. PvP is really like the place where you go to get a lot of things, it looks like. If you play a lot of PvP, you can get a lot of rewards. Uh, there's the traits, like I was saying, you get the trait stones. They are called trait stones. You get those just from normal play. Uh, I don't think there's any way to get specific trade stones, even if you pay for them. I think always it's just going to be random trait stones. Uh, you can disenchant, which gives you souls. This is a lower card, so it's only going to give five souls, so there's no point in that. Uh, skills, yeah, skills of the thing. And then ascension, which I'm going to use. I apparently already sacrificed two. Basically, you take extra cards, you sacrifice them, and if you sacrifice five of the card, it levels up from, in that case, common to rare. Or it'll go from rare to ultra rare, and then ultra rare to epic, and then epic to something else. Legendary. And then I think there's one past that. Uh, mini games. There's arena, which I'm not going to do. You basically just do that, and you play a bunch of things. If you get eight wins, you get a bunch of money, you get a bunch of souls, you get 500 souls, you get three keys. The trophies, which I think are, I think I read are for guild rank, which doesn't actually do anything. Um, I keep accidentally opening the tasks. Uh, anyway. Uh, hero. Uh, you get armor. You prob possibly saw in the thing, armor, uh, you buy with gems, you customize your person. They got a lot of, they got the, like, races. I could be a wolf, but I really wanted to be a Khajiit. Uh, armor, hair, you got a class. I have two of them unlocked, but I've only really done anything with those. You upgrade that with souls, just like the cards. And then you get bonuses, and depending on how many wins you can unlock a special weapon and such. What is collection? Oh, that's just how many things I've collected. Or how much stuff I have, I guess. So, let's do PvP. Now, like I said, I think I said, uh, PvP's, you're not actually facing the people. You're facing a version of their people. Like, yeah, you have defenders. It's like, anyone that fights me will fight that team. And, you know, you have the gem priority set, and... All this stuff. The leaders, which are people that apparently just play PvP and... Yeah. Like, I would say, I was gonna say have no life, but... I might have played a decent amount. I, I don't think I've played that many matches. Like, what is that? Like, a 1,200? More than 1,200? Uh, but I've probably played a decent amount. So if I played just PvP, I'd probably be be close to that. 
Um, and yeah, you get rewards. If I get above rank a thousand, I get better rewards at the end of the week. If I, uh, you know, I get, I get gems. Like if I get above rank a thousand, I get a gem. If I could get to rank one, I could get 50 gems and 2,500 souls. Holy shit. You get a lot for being rank one. I guess that's what you get for playing 1200 PVP matches. And then you get ranks. If, if you just raise your, your rank, you get more things. I can get keys. I can get souls glory, which is used for all those other things. Uh, there's casual, which you just face someone, get some glory, get some other stuff and ranked, which I'm going to do now. My team's 2100. That means nothing, really. I mean, it means, like, if I face this one that has 5,000 up there, might get my ass kicked, even if I'm really good at the game. But I could probably take on this 2,800 and be fine. I could scout to see all of their characters. But I don't re I don't remember what all they all do anyway. So... Oh, wow. He actually has two of the same characters as me. So I know what they do. I know exactly what they do. Now, what should I do? Um, sure. Let's go with the game, what it's telling me to do. But yeah, that that's just a computer-controlled version of their team. And also, if I beat them... I've only gotten really the option once. On the one thing, there's like a revenge thing where you can... Face a player that's beaten you for revenge. And if you get 60 revenges, you're supposed to get an event key. I've only got the option to take on, like, to get revenge once. I don't know what caused that. I just know it's when someone attacks you, but I've never had the option to Man do it beyond surge. that. Like, I've never had the option outside of that one time. Uh, so I'm not, there, his, his, his things are strong. He's also got traits unlocked, you can see on the little purple and orange banners on them. Oh, that, not that one. Uh, yeah, he has like, gain one attack when taking damage, gain one life from four or five gem matches. Well, fuck, that's amazing. Uh, should I power up my people? Yeah, let's power them up. He just powered everyone else on there, on his side up. Let me power my people up. Oh, thank you for that, computer. <laughs> Giving me skulls. Take him out. Oh, well, they spawned up there. Good. Uh, so this one deals seven damage to a random enemy, then burn them. And it creates seven red gems on the board, which could be good. In that case, it was really good because it gave me an extra turn. Uh, anything good on the board? No. Nah. So now he's burned. Still the wrong one. Which means he takes three damage per turn. But he has a chance to recover from it. Uh, I can use the axe. This deals six damage to an enemy and reduces the enemy's attack by two. Um, who do I want to reduce by two? Let's reduce the the last one. Reduce the the uh, the wall. Let's also take do some damage there. I don't know what Reinforce is doing. I'm kind of scared by that. Reinforce, recover one armor at the start of each turn. Well, fuck. That's great. Now, when it says recover one armor, does it go above their normal max? Like, will he go to 10 next turn? So I don't want to do that, do I? No, that won't give a... Yeah, that's good. Yep, it will go above. It's in 10, it's in the green. That's not good for me. Oh, thank you. What a pal. Give me, give me good moves. But yeah, it, it's one of those games, it's like, it's simple enough that it's just like super addicting. And I, I can't even, it's one of those games, it's like, I don't wanna be addicted to this, but I'm absolutely addicted to this. And it's also one of those games because... See, the thing is, with free-to-play games, 
I, I never want to spend money on them, even if they, like, if they have microtransactions. I never want to use the microtransactions, because most of the time it's like, one of those games where it's like, ah, ah, you got, got money, give us money. Like, it's like pressuring you into doing microtransactions. This game really doesn't do that. It doesn't pressure you into doing the microtransactions. It's like, hey, you can play the game, and it's fine. If you want to give us money, go for it, but you don't have to, to enjoy the game. Which I like that. It's it, it's actually, when I find a game like that, I'm actually more likely to spend money on it. I'm, I'm way more likely to spend money to get some VIP points and get some gems and do stuff with than I would be for, like... I'm trying to think of another game that I've played. I mean, there's plenty of them out there. Plenty of mobile games where it's like, oh, you get to a point where it's like, there's no way to advance unless you spend money. And here it's like, just because of the PvP alone, like even even if it wasn't for the PvP, just the fact that you can explore random places and just take on enemies, do challenges and such to gain things. But the fact that it has the PvP as well, it's like, you're never going to not have something to do. You can always play the game. And it's also good because it's not one of those where it's like, oh, well, you can play the game, but you can only do three battles. Then you got to wait 24 hours for your energy to recharge. And then you can do another three battles. And it's just like a cycle like that. I hate those games, too. So I'm kind of glad that it doesn't do that. I, th I thought for sure it was. I thought for sure, like, I, anytime I see free game, I assume that's going to be a mechanic. Like, oh, I'm only going to be able to play this for, like, two minutes. And then I have to put it down, wait till the next day. Oh, I won. See what I mean? I'm like 700 below this person and still was able to... Uh, 1,200 gold. And I should level up. I'm in the 900s now. Yep, I'm a defender of Broken Spire. So that means... It's one thing I hate about this game. It's sometimes it like takes a little bit to load and it lags a bit there are a few times where it like lagged so much where it's like uh, should I just quit the game and restart and I actually did usually you don't learn lose any progress because by this point it's like I already know what you got already know all your things so if I'd quit and quit right there I would still have gotten that minor water trade stone I've still got all these the souls and gold that it's given me now see the revenge rewards if I get like 60 wins I end up getting a key but I haven't gotten a chance to do revenge recently oh uh the, go no what am I doing there we go I, I I thought I hit left bumper before and it didn't go through so I had no idea what was going on there um not ranked rewards tier rewards I need <sighs> I need like 175 more to actually start getting keys, which sucks. I want to save up my glory, but part of me wants to use it on a, a treasure map just to... Yeah, I'll use it on a treasure map just to have a treasure hunt thing in this video. I'm fine with that. Treasure map. Yeah, I, go, I know I got a map. I The one that bought it. Treasure hunt. You have eight turns to get as much treasure as possible. This is one, as you can see on the right, if you, well, those are the rewards. If you match, like, if I match these, it'll turn, it'll go a step up. So it'll turn into a chest. And there's an achievement for having, I think it's three vaults on the board by the end. And also if I get a match of four or five, I get an extra turn. Actually, I think if I get four, I don't use a turn. If I get a five, I actually get an extra turn. Because now you can see, I started with eight, now I'm at 11. Extra turn. Extra turn. Extra turn. Like, I think I ended up using like 20 some. I think I ended up using like 24 turns when I did this the first time. Like, ridiculous. But yeah, there's an achievement for. I want to say it's to get, it, it's to get a certain number of vaults, which as you can see, give you glory, gems, and two types of keys. I think the other type of key, is that the gem key? 
That'd be pretty awesome. Get a, a gem key for no gems. There's no four or five ones. Let's do this. See, now where now's where it's like, I have a variety. I have a bunch of chests and stuff, so I'm not getting as many fours or fives. Which kind of sucks, but... I just got another one, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Match that. Sure. Let's keep going with that. And boom! I got a red chest, at least. Oh, and I got a... It's like every 15 turns you get a random trait stone as well. I think it was. So I think that's what that random, like, Extra thing turn. flying up was. I think I got a trait stone. What the hell else am I gonna do? Um, I have a red chest, which is great, because I'm gonna get gems and a key from that, at least. But I kind of want to turn that red chest into a vault. But I kind of need more red chests. And that's my predicament. Oh, there's a four. Good. See, part of me wishes you could turn that off, make it a little bit more challenging. But part of me, like, when I don't see things like that, I'm really glad that the game tells me, Hey, uh, there's a match four here you can do something with. Just, just letting you know. Extra turn. Oh, wow. Got, a, got another green, so that's good. <laughs> So yeah, it looks like I actually wasn't paying attention. Uh, get another four. So yeah, I still wasn't paying attention. I was I keep watching the board to see what's going on, and then I forget to pay attention to my turns. So if I get a four, yeah, that just four just doesn't use a turn. Five actually gives you an extra turn. Okay, figured that part out. Oh, I used 30 turns, so I'm already doing way better than I did the first time I did this. Which either means I'm getting better at the game, or I just got really lucky. Oh, I got three green chests. Let me turn those into... I mean, green chests are fine because I still get glory and gems, but I really want to turn that into a uh, red chest. Extra turn. Oh, yeah. Extra turn. Give me those extra turns. Keep going for it. Shut up, phone. I'm focusing. Yeah. Good call, game. Good call. Let's go with that. Damn it, it moved the chest over there. It, it, it moves the chest to where you where you matched the point. Like, it moves the new coin or chest or whatever, which kind of sucks when you're, you're really hoping that you, uh... Can I match anything? Did I match anything? Oh, there's a five. Got it. Oh, pff, Jesus. Okay, so I can make a red here. That's good, at least. Oh, 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 something else. Give me something else. Extra turn, anywhere? I got this. Oh God, this is my last turn and I don't think I can get an extra turn. Why do you want me to do the... Blonde, blonde, blends, blondes. Yeah, the blondes. Why do you want me to do the blondes? Um, I can match these and get another regular chest. I'm not matching the bronze. Shut up. Match, get a regular chest. I can at least get glory. Yeah. I mean, didn't suck. That actually went really well. And gems. I think it, it's like I either get gems or a key or souls or whatever. Like, I think it's either or. And I got some trait stones. Four gems. 92 souls. Not great, but it's decent. 394 gold. 
10 glory. So I spent 30, got 10, and all that other stuff. So really, I spent 20 glory to get all that other stuff. 43 moves. But yeah, that, that's just a little fun thing. I really, really want to get the achievement for... Uh, Finish it. Oh, it's only two. Two or more vaults. All right. But yeah, I think that's I think that's good for a video. That's uh, this Gems of War. I'm gonna play this a lot more because I am addicted to this game for some stupid reason. Uh. So anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna stop. The, I fucked up my outro. I'll see you next time. <laughs>